Hello, welcome back to part two of the tutorial that I'm doing right now, right here. Um, but basically, okay, so what we covered in part one, and if you haven't seen that, you better go and watch that because that tells you how to set up everything and whatnot. But what we did is we made the movement pretty simple. Um, so I'm going to get straight on to what we're doing next. So what we have here is we have the movement done. We've also created a variable for the score. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the draw event. Now this is where everything is drawn. This is how like text appears on your screen and whatnot. And uh, what we're going to do is down here we've got a draw event. And um, there are two ways we can do this. There's this way which allows us to draw the variable score at position 5.5. Five. That means the um, the coordinates in Game Maker in the Game Maker window work from top uh, top left to bottom. So the top left point is zero zero. Uh, anything stretching out from that point is uh, positive, and anything behind that point is negative. Normally you don't see anything negative, but what happens if we do this? Is uh, if we run the game here, uh, it dra draws the score here, but that's not very interesting. So. Uh, what I want to do, and Game Maker has just fudged out on me. Uh, if you're wondering why I've got all these programs open, it's because I'm rendering out the video, and that is something from one of my bucket plugins, uh, which I'm going to put away. And I don't know why Game Maker is being a dick. Uh, it just doesn't seem to want to be working right now. Okay, so screw that. Um, right, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't want to be working. So I'll just open up the tutorial back from where it was uh, which was on here and uh, basically this is back where we were uh, before and um, I'm going to go back into this object so yeah drawing the variable like that wasn't very interesting so what we're going to do instead is uh, delete that old thing by the way before I used this and just put that in there uh, go ahead and delete this what we're going to do is we're going to do something a little bit different oh and now it opens um, sorry about that and uh, no um, but now what we're going to do is this thing called draw text. This allows you to draw text, and uh, what you can do with, with GameMaker, which is quite clever, is you can do um, this thing. So I can write draw text uh, score uh, plus. Actually, for this, um, this is just as easy using code. Now uh, this is a little bit more advanced. Uh, this is code, but you don't need to worry about this. Now, um, Game Maker works off functions. So if I type draw, there are all these different draw functions to draw this different stuff. But what we want to do is type draw underscore text. Now, this will refer to the position on the screen. So 5, 5, like I mentioned before, is 5 from the top and 5 from the left hand side. Now, uh, what you do every time you use like text is you need to use speech marks. And inside those speech marks, you can write score. Um, dot dot. Now this will draw text on our screen. So if I go like this, this won't actually draw the score variable because we haven't told it to yet. But what this will write is it will draw text here. Um, you can write, for example, if you want to, you can write I am a pony, and uh, then if you go here, it will say I am a pony. So um, that's how you do text. Really easy, really simple. You can have fun with that. You just just knock yourselves out with that. But um. This is where it gets interesting. Uh, what you can do with strings is if you put a uh, close the speech marks off, um, because speech marks are just when there's an unset text value. Uh, when you come here, you can click the plus thing, and uh, now what you can do is just do plus score. Now, uh, score is a weird variable because it's actually an inbuilt variable, uh, which makes it a little bit different to deal with. Um, because if you go like that now and uh, click play, what you will find is that, ah, right. Um, you actually need to do this. Um, a, a text thing in programming is called a string. Now the problem with score is um, score is an integer. Uh, we've got two types of thing. We've got uh, integers or real values and string values. Real values and string values. Score equals zero is a real value, and uh, text equals hello is a string value. Now. Um, don't ask why score is red, it's just because it's a special variable you inbuilt to make it a little bit easier. But um, what you need to do is that, um, is uh, with anything that's uh, not a text value, you need to convert it to the right form. And this function string converts it. Basically, that makes it so it, it allows it to draw on the screen. It's kind of complicated, and I'll go over that in future tutorials. But right now, we've got a score drawing in the corner. 
Now, there's a little annoying thing about Game Maker, uh, which stops you from being able to see, draw the player um, whenever you, uh, whenever you like, I don't know, whenever you put any other code in. So what you can do is just type draw self here, and what that will do is just draw the sprite, which is yourself. And I know you're probably looking at me like, oh, this is one of those tutorials where I just copy and paste it. Well, fine, that's fine for now. Because uh, this bit is a little bit more advanced, and that bit isn't as important right now. Um, basically, all I want you to take out from this is the fact that you can draw text on the screen, referring to that. Draw self just draws the sprite because technically, you can't. Uh, when you draw text, it cancels the player from drawing for some reason. I don't know why they decide to make it do that, uh, but it's just so you have a little bit more control over what draws and what doesn't um, draw. And I don't know someone's talking to me. I'm saying. But I'm going to ignore them right now because I've been doing this. Uh, okay, so what we've got now is we have a room where we have our player walking around. And uh, we also have the score in the corner. Now this is where it starts getting more interesting. What we're going to do is we're going to design some little sprites, uh, little graphics to represent other things. Now it doesn't have to be a 32 by 32 sprite, but that just makes it interesting. So here I'm going to draw a little, I don't know, a cake or something. I don't know what this is. It can be a moldy cake, but um, whatever this is, this is this is going to be our pickup. Uh, you can do all sorts of interesting things with this, like you can add a nice little glow to it. Um, I don't know, make that green for the hell of it. Okay, that's not green, but okay. Um, this can be our pickup, so I'll call this SPR pickup. Um, this won't be anything interesting. This will just be to get a score. So what we can do with this uh, to begin with is just make it kind of simple this object doesn't need any code at all because that it won't be doing anything so if we just litter a couple of, a couple of these around the level uh, what we can do in here is make it so every time we pick like touch one of these our score goes up now what you want to do is do on collision event uh, this thing here is a collision event and when th this means that when the player collides with this pickup when this dude collides with this this event happens now. What we want to do is um, I won't use code actually. I'll keep it simple. But um, what you want to do is you want to do score. Tick this relative box uh, so that it increases. Uh, relative basically means that instead of setting the variable, so normally that would set the variable to ten, but if you tick relative, it adds ten onto that variable. So for each thing we pick up, we add ten. Now also we need to destroy the uh, thing that we pick up because otherwise the score is going to spam the screen. I'll just show you what happens if we don't destroy it and uh, you've got to be following this because otherwise you will lose track of what's going on. So this is what happens when you don't destroy it. The score just infinitely goes up. Um, that's the collision event. So what we need to do is we need to grab this little bin icon and click other. Um, that will destroy this little... Um, that will destroy the thing that you touch. So now when we go into these things um, you will get score plus 10, score plus 20, score plus 30, score plus 40, and score plus 50. So um, that's the basic little essence of this uh, first, second part of the tutorial. There's no, there's not much to go on here, and I'm probably going quite slow with this. I'm going to save this a this tutorial one, uh, basics part two, and um, again, these files will be included. Um, inside the uh, tutorial folder uh, which I'll be sharing with each episode and um, so I hope you guys can like take advantage of those but um, yeah what, what, what's happened here is we've got I, I just want the reason I'm explaining all this stuff is because I want people to actually understand this because I've seen tutorials before especially when I was learning I didn't properly understand uh, everything I was seeing so um, it really does help if it's actually explained um, what each thing does because otherwise you're just copying and pasting and then when it comes to you making your own thing you don't really know exactly what you want to do but um, Game Maker also comes with its own tutorials and I definitely recommend you check those out part 1 to 10 will be all basic tutorials like this just to get you into the grips of it after that we'll start going a little bit more advanced and start with some more interesting concepts and stuff and uh, eventually I'll start getting onto 3D games uh, things like FPS's uh, I don't know I don't know, the Game Maker is not the best program for 3D, but it's pretty effective and it's still really fun to use because it keeps it simple. And um, I know I've sort of blabbered on this tutorial, I haven't really added anything of value at all, but uh, next episode we'll be covering 
a random dropping of items and uh, perhaps some enemies um, as well. So uh, anyway, thank you for watching this video and goodbye.